Today we're gonna over the best locations to hunt on the updated 4 colinas. I'm gonna show you all the new locations and all the new times to hunt every single species. 4 colinas has offered a decent amount of changes after the last update. Many hotspots and times are not the same anymore, but I've been exploring the map and I think I figured the vast majority of the new locations. We're gonna start first with all the ibex locations. As you probably already know, there are four different ibex species on this map, and each of these species inhabits a different hill. There are four hills for four ibex. Actually, cuatro colinas means four hills in Spanish, in case you didn't know. Okay, so each ibex still inhabits the same hill they used to. You'll find BCT ibex on the northwestern hill, Riddles on the southwest, Ronda Ibex on the northeast, and the southeastern Ibex, of course, on the southeastern hill. This is still the same, but the lakes where they drink are a bit different now. And I think that the most important change is that the distribution of the Ibex population across all these lakes is more even now. And what this means is that each lake has a similar amount of Ibex, but there are still some really good spots. For instance, this lake is now great for visiting Ibex. Also, it's part of this big lake is awesome, and this area down here is now a great location too. It is full of Ibex. For Gridos and Southeastern Ibex, one of the most important changes is that now they have a high presence on the river. Now you can find Gridos around here and Southeastern on these two spots. Anyways, here is the map with all the locations where you can find Ibex on Cuatro Colinas. Now, one of the species that was more affected by the last update is the Iberian Mouflon. I mean, I explored the map and I would say they are now everywhere. I just couldn't find a single lake without mouflon, so I came to the conclusion that they are in fact in every single location. I mean, you won't necessarily find them on every single lake in your map, but they can have zones everywhere, that's what I mean. And again, their population is really even across the whole map, so I couldn't find a single lake that you could say is a great spot on mouflon. No, I just couldn't find one. In most lakes I found, maybe one herd and that's it. It is definitely harder to grind them now. Now it's necessary to cover more lakes to kill a decent one of them. Instead of focusing on three great lakes, now you'll have to visit like 10 to find the same amount. Definitely more complicated to grind them now, but that change was made for a reason and that was to improve the frame rate, so definitely worth it. These are all the lakes where you can find Iberian Mouflon based on all the zones I found on multiplayer and on my own map. Okay, the next animal is the Iberian Wolf, and oh boy, this was hard. Well, actually I'm not completely sure, but I think they also inhabit the whole map, just as the Mouflon. But on this case, I actually found two really good spots. The first one is this lake up here. From all the spots I explored, I would say this one is the best one by far. Well, actually the river has more zones, especially on this part right here. It's also a really good spot to hunt wolves, but you'll have to walk more. These two spots are really good and I actually feel like half of the wolf population drinks in these two spots. I mean, I checked all the other lakes and I found like only one zone per lake and a lot of times with a single wolf. So if you wanna hunt a Iberian wolf, I recommend you to focus on these two lakes, then only maybe these three lakes down here are somewhat decent. Here is the map with all the spots on these species. Now, a lot of you probably wonder which are the new best spots on wild boar and roe deer. So I also spent quite some time trying to figure that out and I found that they seem to drink in the same lakes. Mainly on the river, also on this lake down here, and on this other lake. These are three really good spots on these species. And also on this lake up here, they seem to have a high presence. Here is the map for wild boar and for roe deer. Now, the last species we're gonna go over is red deer. I know I still haven't mentioned the European hare, but I think they are everywhere. And they don't have a drink time anymore, so it's really hard to know exactly which are the new best spots to hunt European hare. It's noticing now that they are all around the map, so I think that your best bet now is to hunt them at the cornfields and try to hunt them at their feed time. But anyway, as I said, now we're gonna go over the Red Deer zones. Now they drink from 6 to 10.30 am, and now they seem to share spots with all the Ibex species. I mean, I couldn't find a single egg with Ibex that didn't have Red Deer and vice versa, and I mean any of the four Ibex species. Now, talking about the best spots on Red Deer on the updated Cuatro Colinas, I found this lake to be really good, as well as this area, also this lake, and this lake down here. I don't know how consistent it will be on other maps, but on my own map they are really, really good. Okay, to finish with this updated Cuatro Colinas guide, here I leave you the map for Red Deer, 
And if you're interested in knowing the new spots for the updated maps, you might want to check the updated Poronga Sabanaka that I made last week. And also, I recommend you to join the Discord because there I will be uploading all the new hotspot maps. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching, and see you next time!